Okay, cool. So on this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how to request access to a Facebook business page. So let's say, for example, you're going to be my client, right? You're going to be my client. I'm the one that's going to be running ads. I'm the one that's going to be managing your page. So I need access to it, right? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to your link at the top, right? So I'm going to copy that link. I'm going to come over to my business settings. So you want to always make sure you have your business manager set up. Right. A lot of people don't have their business manager set up. So you have to set up your business manager. Um, so if anything, you can go to business.facebook.com. Just go straight to that facebook.business.com and it'll let you know if you have your, your business manager set up or not. So you want to just make sure you have your business manager set up. Once you do, then you can access the settings and that's what you need. You need to get to the settings. Um, so now okay. here's my business manager. Here are my settings. All I do is I go to pages on the left. I'll click the blue one, add, and I'll request access to a page. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in that link. And once I paste it in, I'll see the dropdown. Wow. If you if you do not see the dropdown, then you did not get the right link. So make sure you go to the business page. And all I did is I copied it from the top, right? So now I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to see the dropdown. I'm going to click on the dropdown. And these are all the different access wow. points that I can request. So depending on how detailed you are with the client a lot of the times if i'm only running ads for the client i'll only request access for the ads but if they want me to manage everything then i'll then i'll then i'll request full control so full control yeah so so you so sometimes depend on again depend on who the client is then then maybe i'll just go full control um and then and then that's it so i'll just go full control shade that one blue that's it and so now as I request access, here's what's going to happen next. So as I request access, sometimes you get a notification, sometimes you don't. So let me stop share. Go ahead and go to your, go ahead and share your screen again. So now here's what I tell the client. I say, okay, client, go to your business page and I'll walk you through. And if I'm on the call with them, then great. I can, I can walk them through. If I'm on Zoom with them, I can walk them through it. And so I don't know how you do your appointments, but I do everything through Zoom. So I don't, I don't do phone calls with, with potential clients. As I'm trying to close the client, I don't do phone call at all. No phone. I don't meet with them in person. We do Zoom. And the reason why I do Zoom, the, the real reason is so I can visually show them and I can walk them through this all as if I was sitting in front of them, right? Ain't no one got time to meet nowadays. Like I, I ain't going to your office to meet with you. I ain't got none of that time. I ain't, I ain't calling you on the phone because if I call you on the phone and I'm trying to explain all this verbally on the phone, you ain't going to understand shit I'm saying. So the phone call, I don't do phone call. I haven't done phone call in years. I do Zoom so I can visually show them, right? So, and 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 not not just on this part, but even when I'm presenting and I'm, and I'm going through my presentation and I'm telling them what I can do for them, for sure Zoom, because now I can show them, hey, your page needs this. Hey, your page isn't doing that. I can show them, right? That's why Zoom is so powerful. I was using Zoom way before all this pandemic mess i was using zoom years ago because wow. i can visually show my client i can visually show them hey click that click this here's what your page is missing right so, yeah. so zoom is zoom, zoom is all you need you don't need any any phone call or anything like that so here okay. if i'm on that zoom call right here and there i'm gonna request access right as i'm talking so right when the client says yeah steve i'd love to hire you okay great here's my credit card okay great okay mr client now here's what i'm gonna do I'm going to simply request access to your page. Boom. I just did that. Now, Mr. Client, go to your business page and I'm going to show you how to grant me access. So now here, all you're going to do on the very, very left-hand side. So go to, scroll down on the left-hand side. So below home, newsfeed, manage shop, all that. Go all the way down, 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 down on the left-hand side. Yeah. And you're going to click on settings. So I'm telling the client, okay, Mr. Client, click on settings. And then over here on the left-hand side, you're going to click on page roles. So if you click on settings. Okay, so now page roles. So right there on the left-hand side, you're going to click on page roles. So right above page roles. Yeah. So as you click on page roles, right here on the right-hand side, you'll see Cantero Media. So, so now to the right-hand side, you're going to scroll down below page owner and you'll see 
Cantero Media. So scroll down, scroll down, keep going, keep going. And all you're going to do is click on the button, respond to request. Okay, so click on that button, enter your password, just click continue, enter your password. Okay, continue, and then password, and then here's the next step. So accept request. My password. And your password. Okay, so now as you as you complete those steps, that's what the client would have just done, right? And I can tell them that over the phone, really to tell you the truth. I can verbally explain that. Okay, Mr. Client, here's the phone call. Click on settings on the left. Click on page roles. To the right, you'll see my business name. Respond to requests. I could have told you that over the phone for sure. But as I'm on the as I'm on a Zoom call, I just walk them through it right here and I show them. Right. So I'm, I'm just showing wow. them the stuff right here. So so here's what I what I have to do next. So your job is done. The client, their job is done. Here's what I have to do next. So stop share. Come over to my screen. So now I have to come back to my page and refresh my page. So I refresh it right here. And now it says permissions given. But okay. what's very, very wow. important is now I have to add myself. Wow. I have to add people. So I click on add people. I check the circle for my name and whatever I requested access to is what I'm going to shade on the other page on, on the other part, I requested access for full control, right? So over here, I'm going to go full control, assign, and that's it. Done. So now, now I have access to their page and now I can run ads to the page um, and all that. So now, now, what's really important too, though, is clicking on partners. So clicking on partners to the left. So if I refresh, let me see if 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 you show up now. So if I go if I go partners, I want to click on your name right here. So there's Silver Design, right? So I click on Silver yeah, Design, yeah. and then and then what what I need to do also that's just step one. That's step one. So again, it it just depends on what we're going to be doing for the client. Okay. So that's step one. What I want to do now is I need to I need to um, 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 request access to a few different things, depending on what I'm doing. So here's what I want to do. So if I go, it, in fact, you're going to do it. You're going to do it on on on. Um, actually, I can I can do it on this end, um, but it's also good to do it on 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 your end over there. So add okay. accounts. This is all my stuff. So so this is stuff that I would share with you. So if I so so let me stop share go back go back to your screen. So now what you're going to want to do click on the little the, the either the logo in the top left or the home just go to your news feed. Go to your news feed. Um so just click on the logo in the top left. Okay, so now click on to the left. Yeah, the Facebook the logo. logo. Yeah, click on the logo, go to your news feed and click on Ads Manager. Okay. Okay, so click on that. And then as it brings you over here to the ads manager, um, let's see if your if your business account is set up, your business manager. That's what we really need is the business manager. So if you click on the three lines um, at the top left, so you click on your three lines and click on business settings. So three lines in the top left and then go to business settings. Business settings. Go on business settings. And so now over here, what what you, what you what the client needs, and and this is probably something you want to you want to set up for the client, is set up their business manager. So right here, that's yours right there, the silver design. So click on that one. And so again, depending on what I'm doing for the client, if I'm going to run ads for them, if I'm going to put their pixel on a page, if I'm going to be creating custom audiences for them, if I'm going to be setting up custom conversions for them, now Facebook has you request access for each for each thing so so wow. the first step was just requesting access to the page but now if i need access to different assets then that's what we're going to share so so now now i have to click on partners so right there to the left partners so this is the client's business partners. manager click on partners and then you should see yeah. um cantero media and now what you want to do, you shared the page with me, right? I requested access to the page. So you shared the page, but now we need to share a few assets. 
So now you're going to click on share assets right there at the top, share assets. Share assets. And really what you're going to need is, is really just a few things, actually quite a few, but, but you're going to need, you want to share assets to the ad account. So click on ad account. On the left-hand side, we're going to go left-hand side. So click on ad accounts. Ad accounts. Oh, this ad account is what's tied to the credit card that is going to be charged for these ads, right? So, so I don't want to run your ads out of my ad account. So here I'm going to run ads out of your ad account, but I need access to it. So all you're going to do is just check that circle for silver design ad account one, full control, full control, and you can remove. So, so as you do all this and then save changes. As you do all this, you can turn okay. around and remove me, or I can turn around and, and remove you. So don't worry, about, don't worry about giving access and then regretting it. Just go ahead and click the blue button. You can always remove it in, the, in af after. So click save changes because I got I to gotta, I jump on another call, so I need you to hurry up, bro. Save changes. Okay. Click on save changes, and that's the ad account. So now what I want to do, click on done. Click on, click on um, share assets again. Now I may need access, share assets. Now I'm now I may need access to the pixel. So okay. share assets. And then now pixels. So go ahead and click pixels. on pixels. Click the click the search. Actually, you don't have you don't have a pixel set up. Click on um no. click on click on um um custom conversions. Custom conversions. Click on custom conversions. You probably don't have a custom <laughs> conversion set up. Yeah, you don't have any custom conversions. So, so yeah. it's ad account. It's 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 um it's custom conversions. It's it's domains. Scroll down. So all we're doing is going down left, right there. Go down. Domain two. I don't have it yet. Yeah, you don't have domains. Scroll back up to the Not top. Yet. Go back up up to the top above ad accounts. Go back up. So yeah, so it's ad accounts pages which you got pixels. Okay. Um, Instagram account. If you're going to be running ads to Instagram, click on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. So so there's so check the circle, check the circle, and then and then to the very, very right, scroll down. Is there a full control? Or actually I think you gotta do just do ads. Ads is fine. Just ads. So just do ads. the ads. That's it. Save changes. Okay, so now now what else do we have on the list? So again, we're on partners to the left. We're sharing assets with the agency, which is me, right? So yes. so um, so now click on, click on share assets one more time. Let's see if there's anything else there, share assets. And so over here, let's see if there's anything else we needed. We got pages, we got ad accounts. We would, we would also get pixel. If it was set up, we got Instagram account and then scroll down. We got custom conversions, go down. Um, domain is another one that you would get domain and then, and then that's it. And then that's it. So now let's say you did all that, right? So now stop share, come over to my page. So now. I would come over to my page over here and then I would refresh. I can refresh this page and then I can click on assets shared with you. Now I see all of these other ones that you shared with me. I see the ad yeah. account. I see the Instagram account. I would also see the pixel. I would also see the domain. So now as I go, so, so look, I have your ad account right here now. So look, as I go and run an ad. So if I go to the ads manager, I go to these, I go to, let's go to, let's go to create. Now I can simply run an ad and I actually right here at the top. So if I hit refresh, if I just click on this drop down at the top. So right now you're acting as a client, right? What's that? You're acting right now as a client, right? No, I'm acting as the agency. You're, you're the one acting, acting as a client. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. So, so now as I go run ads, I can run them from, I can run them. Actually, you know what? Let me go back to business settings. So now I got to go to business settings. So I'm, I'm the agency, you're the client. So, okay. so you just, you just shared your assets with me, the agency, right? So now okay. here, here's what I got to do on my end. What did you share with me? You share the page, you share the, the ad account, Instagram. you share the Instagram. So now I got to go into my business settings right here. And I click on pages and here is your page. So I added my name. There's my name. 
now you also shared your ad account, which is yes. right there. So now I got to click on your ad account. I got to add my name okay. and then you gave me full control. So now I got to assign it. There's that. So now wow. I click on done. I go to Instagram account because you also share the IG. So now I got to come over here, add people, click on the circle. You gave me ads. So I go there, click on assign, and that's it. So now as I go and run the ad, now I come over here to the ads manager. Now, okay. as I go and run this ad up here in the drop down, this is my ad manager or my ad account up here. I hit this drop down. There is your ad account. I now I can run. Wow. Now I can run ads from your ad account, which is tied to your credit card. And I can so do it's it. Going, they're going to, to charge my credit card, right? The client. Yeah. Whatever credit card is here for the client. This is your ad account. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now, now let's say the business relationship is over. I can either come over here to my business settings and I can remove all of that. Right. I can click on partners and I could just come down to you and just completely remove you. Okay. And that would remove everything. Or let me stop share. Go to go to your go to your screen. Let's say you're you're the client and let's just say you just fired me. Right. You just fired me. You're like the hell with them guys. They don't know what the hell they're doing. I need them out of my account. So what I would do now is I'd come over here, refresh this page real quick. Just refresh it. It's done. Perfect. So now, now let's say the, let's say our, our business relationship is over. Now you, the actual client, can come here and fire me. Hit remove to the top right, and I'm gone. Now I have access to nothing. Wow. So, so hit remove. Hit remove. Go ahead and remove me. Okay. Remove. Okay. Remove, and then and remove partner. And that's it, man. And then, um, and then now I have no access to Instagram, no access to the page, no access to the ad account. And that's how you request access in 2022 and beyond to someone's business account, um, their business page and their assets. Wow. Wow.